because he's right there. Right? Yeah. Welcome to Comedians on the Fly, where I take your favorite comics fly fishing. I'm your host, Elon Stribler. Today, we have another Denver native, a comedy works legend, and he's one of the writers for Jimmy Kimmel Show. Put your hands together, start clapping for the one, the only, Troy Walker. They'd always be like, you should try therapy. I'd always be like, I don't know, man, it sounds kind of expensive. I don't even know if that's in my budget. And they'd always be like, nah, man, there's actually tons of really cheap places that you can go for therapy. And I'd always be like, mm. I don't know if I want cheap mental health. <laughs> kind of seems like a get what you pay for situation, you know? They say it so casually, like, yeah, just go down to Tijuana, man. They'll fix you right the fuck up. What's up, everybody? The blacks have found fishing. <laughs> <laughs> this is Comedians on the Fly. Let's do it. <laughs> Troy, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Today we're on the, the South Platte um, in Colorado, and... Oh, it's one of my favorite rivers. The South Platte. Yeah, it's way better than the North Platte. It is. It actually so much, is way better. So much better than the North Platte. So the North Platte just seems too pretentious. Yeah, a lot of people tell you, you know, go check out the North Platte, but like real ones know, the it's South about Platte the South where Platte. That's where it's at. <laughs> this is so. This is what we're gonna be fishing today. Today we're gonna be nymphing. Okay. Um, which just means sounds erotic. There's like three <laughs> styles of fishing. Uh huh. Of, of fly fishing, I would say. All right. There's dry fly fishing. Okay nymphing and then they're streamer fishing okay so today we're going to be doing they literally all sound erotic <laughs> every single today, one <laughs> we're going to be doing this the sexiest one okay which is nymphing so okay. bugs and stuff that are like in the river mm -hmm. that are moving around those fish are keyed in on that so that's right. what we're going to be doing right today and you've been fly fishing before i have been fly fishing before it's been a long time but i have been so you understand a little bit of the of the concepts or how it works uh yeah you put the thing in the water and then the, you hope the fish bite it that's the number one that's it right that's it uh -huh. so um here's our rod here i'm okay. going to hand this to you i'm going to show you a couple of times how we do this but we're just going to be doing a roll cast so we're not going to be doing the big right like, river runs through it like i know fancy cast yeah We'll be doing like the pretty simple roll cast. So what we're gonna do is our whole thing is we want to get a natural drift. Okay. Like we want the we want the flies to drift the same current as the water as okay. it, so that the fish will be like, oh, that's the realest thing I've ever seen. Right, right. And they eat it. So the way we do that is we're gonna let the flies get all the way to the end. Uh huh. And then we pick up our rod. Yeah. And we sort of make it a, a, a small loop at the end and then we're literally just like flicking it for and that's it. Can I ask a question? Of course you can ask Can a you question. can you do the full before I start? Can you do the full the full You wanna see fly? it? Yeah I wanna see it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how much You're on yeah. I don't know how much I wanna see the full river runs through it. I don't know how much real estate yeah. we'll have with all these with all the willows behind I want, us. But. I want a I want a very conflicted Brad Pitt okay. <laughs> in the river in the early 90s. Okay. I could, I could, we don't, we're not trying to show off. It's really. We are trying to show off. <laughs> we are. You got to give the people what they want, Elon. You can't just give them one of your incompetent comedian friends <laughs> trying not to hook his own lip. <laughs> All right. All right. I mean, that's two flies on there plus weight. Hey, you so know. That's my excuse if anybody has any shit to say. <laughs> But is there, okay, is there an advantage to doing one over the other? No, it's just like because of, I have so much stuff behind me. Yeah. That I wouldn't be able to cast that way and cast across. Right. I would just get tangled. Right. So it's easier with the roll cast if I'm, since we're just next to the water and we can't really do the whole backwards thing. Right. It's easier just to pick up and flick it down. Okay. It's your turn. Okay. So no, I got so like yeah, this. Step up. Step all right, up, come close. Step Take up a here. Deep breath. Or in nature, it's all relaxing. In nature, so in your, nature. So your bobber okay. gets down there. So that gets means down there, and you're saying that's the end of your drift. Okay, and then and you're so saying you put your you put your thumb up here. My or thumb up here. Yep. And then just. Yep. Exactly. Except, Except this I want to be out there. That way, right. Okay. Deeper. How was that? Decent. Okay. Um, how long you've been doing stand-up? 
Uh, about 16 years. 16 yeah, years. Yeah, I started uh, uh, March 2007. The wow. uh, Squire Lounge in good old Denver, Colorado. Which is still around. Yeah, it's different now. <laughs> it's like, it's like kind of nice and like pleasant now, yeah. you know. It's not uh... a... <laughs> What was it? What was it when you started comedy? Well, when I started, it was just this kind of like, what's the best way to describe it? It was this sort of like free for all because, okay. you know, Denver didn't have any industry. And so, you know, a lot of the things that sort of like rein in what you do and say on stage were like not things. Yeah. Um, for example, I remember this guy, Chicago, who used to hang out up front. Which wasn't his uh, real name. Was definitely could not have been his real name. He was not a blues magician. <laughs> musician. Perfect. Uh, a blues magician would be really funny, but uh, <laughs> he was not that. And he literally had a crow in like this like makeshift wire cage thing and he and his buddy were sitting out in front of the squire and they were feeding it like, like a wild subway crow. sandwich or something. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember uh, my friend Jordan Zuckerman and I were walking in uh -huh. at the time, and Jordan's like, is that a crow? <laughs> and he's like, it's a raven. <laughs> <laughs> what about your dick? <laughs> well, do you, do you, have you felt that way during your comedy where you have like, Periods where it's like you can't stop talking about sex, or like where you can't stop talking about one ideal or thing, you know? Because there was like a period in my comedy where like every joke I came up with just was just like sex or com like everything. Was, <laughs> it was like very, and I was like, why is this happening? I feel like you start that way because you will initially go for shock value, right? Because you'll get like laughs just out of the shock, you know. And so I would try to do like, I would try to write stuff that was like filthy, dude. Yeah. Like, I would be so dirty. But the thing that you start to realize is so much of it is also figuring out, it's kind of like casting. Like a crowd, when you walk out, is kind of casting you. Yeah. And so Hold you- on, don't, don't cast with the wind, let's just wait for the wind. Okay. And so it's kind of this thing where you know, like, I started to realize, like, I could be dirty. Yeah. But what was hard is, because of my, like, look and everything, I could, in some ways, get away with more because I didn't seem that dirty yeah. coming from me. Yeah. Like, I could be filthy. And I would have, especially, like, Comedy Works South, it would be like, man, like, I was so dirty. And then after the show, I would have these like 50 year old, like white Republican moms going like, you should meet my daughter. She'd love you. <laughs> and it was like, what? Like, I have just said, <laughs> I've said thing. pussy so many times. <laughs> I've said it so much. <laughs> like, why would, why would that be what you would say? Yeah. And I think it was because they thought it was funny, but they didn't really, it didn't read like yeah. scummy dirty. Yeah, they were like, oh, this guy is in a dirt bag, like a dirt Yeah, bag. They, didn't, they didn't read it that way. Yeah. And for, so for that reason, it was this kind of like, Uh, called comedians and cars <laughs> being bitches about the rain. Oh, <laughs> With Jerry Seinfeld, he's gonna pop in. Yeah. He's gonna pop in the back. Uh, comedians and cars being afraid of the rain. <laughs> uh, so, so we were just we were just talking about uh, Troy working in LA and uh, the writer strike and, and and being on Kimmel. Um, what like what's uh, What's been the, like the best part about being a, a writer for a show? Because I think most people see just comedians and they're mm -hmm. like, oh, they just do comedy. But a lot of right. comics, oh yeah, write and like do stuff for other shows. So what's been like the best part about being a writer? I mean, you know, the fun answer is uh, the pay, uh, but which is very nice. But like having steady income in comedy is like a very tough yeah. thing to do. Yeah. And if, takes a long time before you know and even when you do 
you know, a lot of that is like, you know, it's steady, but that's like, okay, I've got to go to this college and this yeah. college and that college and this college. And this is like more like an office job. Yeah. Like, you know, you get paid every week. You wake up in the morning. You wake up in the morning. Yeah. You go into a, to an office, you know, you have your coworkers and you spend your time. And that's like the comfort and routine of that is phenomenal. But I think the coolest part the best part is honestly just like everyone who works there like everyone on our show is great man like i you know it it has a very familial feel to it and you know you feel really lucky to be kind of like part of this sort of little like um work family kind of thing and you know it also is really cool to sometimes get to see like some dumb idea you had in the morning living on TV at night is pretty wild. That's sweet, man. You know? That right there is a fish. Oh. Do you see him? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, I do see him. It's like stopping okay. the line, so you're going to stop and still like lay it down. Okay. Yeah, lay it down. Like that? Yeah, great. Do it again. Lay it down. Yeah. Your elbow, your elbow shouldn't be out. It should just be here. Right. Right, go ahead. Because he's right there, right? Yeah. Come on, you son of a bitch. All right, same thing. A little bit more to the right. Nice, nice, nice. Do it again. Oh, oh fuck. He was going for it. He ate it. He did? <laughs> he was going for it. Yeah. He definitely went for it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just give him a second, because we just... He's going to move now, yeah. Because he's like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, he's out of here. Man, he just that one. Fuck. Oh. This has been another episode of Comedians on the Fly, where I take your favorite comics fly fishing. Today we had Troy Walker. What what did you think about fly? You've been before, but what did you think about fly fishing? Today? I think it was tough to be reminded that I'm dumber than the fish, apparently. <laughs> because maybe not. I really dumber. tried. I tried. I really tried. And Man. A different skill set than the fish. Uh, you're right. Uh, I know this. I didn't hook any fish. Okay. Almost hooked myself. Almost hooked Eland. So. Those are two catches, though. Do you think, well, you know, we came for fish. <laughs> <laughs> if you had one environmental cause that you cared about and you wanted to share with people, what's like one environmental issue or thing that you really want people to know about or love or be concerned about? Uh, I want to kill the whales. No, it's a, <laughs> uh, it's like, no that's I'm a big, hell of a... I'm a big fan of national parks. Oh, sweet. I think national parks are, and just generally, like, public land. Yes. Like, that is part of what's so great about, like, the state of Colorado is there's so much, like, public stuff that you can yeah. go. Choose to do anything in the world and be someone's favorite anything. What, someone's favorite astronaut. Ooh, like, okay. what would it be? Someone's like, favorite be anything writer. In the someone's world. favorite porn star. Someone's favorite... Favorite president. Ooh. I feel like you gotta go favorite president, right? Who's your favorite president? I had nuclear weapons, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, could have done I'm, so I'm much stuff here. I'm the I'm every, I'm the person's favorite person who had nukes. Do you think you were the favorite <laughs> because you had nukes? I think I'm, I mean, I'll tell you this, it would have been worse if I used them. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be the favorite. I definitely if you I used would not be the favorite if I used them. I could have. I did. This has been another episode of Comedians <laughs> on the Fly. Thank you so much, Troy Walker. We're going to keep fishing. Yeah. Let's Hell do yeah. it. See you next We're time. We're going to catch a fish. <laughs>